In that video, you are going to discover how to make network requests on Android by using OKHttp. OK OKHttp OK is an efficient OHttp and HTTP2 client for Android and Java applications. OKHttp OK supports by default HTTP2 and allows all requests to the same host to share a socket. Connection pooling reducing request latency. If HTTP2 is not available, transparent JZIP that shrinks download sizes. Response catching that, that avoid to use the network completely for repeated requests. And now it supports also WebSocket. For our tutorial, we are going to download content from the JSON web service on the SSORL website. First, you need to add OKHTP OK dependency to your Gradle build file. file. So we add the HTTP in version 3.5.0. Now we have to create a simple layout. A simple layout with a button to launch the network request and also a text view to display the data got from the internet. We center the button horizontally. We make the same thing for the text view. And we choose to define text size. Now we have to write the Java code in the main activity. We create references for the button and the text view. We get the references of our widgets with the findView method. We set a click listener on the button that will be used when the user clicks on the button to start the network request. For that, we create the get web service method. We create the code of this method. First, we need to create an OKHTP OK client instance. So we create a field on the main activity and we instantiate this OKHTP OK client object in the own create method of the main activity.
to create the request with the OKHTP API that use the builder pattern. We define the URL to request on the SORL website. Now we call the request on the OKHTP OK client by calling the new call method. And we pass the request object inside the new call method. After that, we enqueue this call, so it, will, so it will be called in a separate thread. We create a callback object to get the result. In the onResponse method, we have just to get the response body and to display it. In the onFailure method, we display a failure message on the text view. After that, don't forget to add the internet permission in the Android manifest. Now we can try our application on the emulator and enjoy the result. We must wait during the gradle build. It can take some time. So we click on the Get Web Service button. There is a bug. So we open Android Monitor View to find an error. We can see that we have updated the user interface in a separate thread, in the on failure and the on response method. So we need to embed our UI update in the run in the run on UI thread method. Then we can uh, relaunch our application. So we wait during the gradle build.
Okay, the application is launched. You can click on the Get Web Service and you see the result displayed. That's all for that tutorial. In a future tutorial, we, you will learn how to post data to a server with OKHTP OK library. If you want to discover more tutorials on Android development, don't hesitate to subscribe to the SSORL channel.